Hi, Tim. I can see a lot of different types of corn here. Could you explain to me what you're working on? Yeah, sure. Um, well, you'd all be pretty familiar with the normal yellow orange sweet corn. So what we're trying to do is uh, we're working with this Peruvian purple maize, which is purple in colour due to a different pigment and it's really starchy. So we have to get that nice colour into this really sweet tasting sweet corn and that's our challenge. So you're trying to get the lovely colour from this one and the lovely sweetness from this one and turn it into one new type of corn. Exactly, into purple sweet corn, which um, doesn't exist at the moment. So how do you actually go about doing that? Well, it's pretty simple to begin with. It, it starts with a cross uh, out in the field. So we actually get some pollen from the purple plant and we put it on the sweet corn plant and then things go from there. And that's where it starts to get a little bit more complicated because the gene for the colour in this is really close to the sweet gene for this. So we have to separate them apart and that only happens at a really low frequency. So out of a hundred plants, we might get six or seven that might actually do the right thing for us. So as you're going along breeding generation after generation, how do you keep track of what's happening on a genetic level? Well, on a genetic level, what we, what we do is uh, we work with the little seedling plants when they're quite small. Uh, we take a bit of the leaf and we actually put it onto this paper that's called forensic DNA paper. So a little bit of uh, leaf on the paper, uh, hammer it uh, lightly onto the paper and the DNA actually gets uh, transferred into the paper itself. We let it dry a little bit. Once it's there, we take a little uh, tool and we take a little circle of paper. With that comes the DNA and then we put that into a uh, little uh, extract for um, uh, generating what we call PCR, or polymerase chain reaction, where we can see what the genes are that are present there. The purple pigment of this Peruvian maize is called anthocyanin, and there are many kinds. When you see a red or purple fruit or vegetable, chances are it's high in this pigment too. So how do you actually tell how much of that pigment you have in the corn? Well, once we're at that stage, uh, we take the kernels off the cob and we grind them up. And then we put them in solvents. So all the anthocyanin pigments get dissolved in that solvents. And then we put it through a machine called a HPLC, or a high performance liquid chromatography machine. And that will tell us just how much anthocyanins there and what sort of anthocyanins are present. So now that you've developed this new type of corn with the lovely color of this one and the great taste of this one, what's next? Well, I suppose the next thing we need to find out is, is what consumers really want. And like, do they want something as dark as that? Do they want it lighter? Or do they want something maybe with a cherry colour? We can do that as well. It's just a different anthocyanin. Well, I hope to see them in the supermarket in the future. I'll catch you later. Bye.